Lockie Fogarty, the recently uh, the recently um, acquired number eight, which was a very interesting selection. We know we love Matthew Cruiser. Uh, we know that you know no numbers were retired, and I personally think that's fine. Yep. No Premiership players, therefore no need to retire For numbers. Sure. I don't know much about him. I'm going to be dead honest. I know he filled in some time for Joel Selwood when Joel Selwood had the um, the hamstring injury in 2020. Yep. Played some good midfield minutes. Joe, what do I need to know about Lockie Fogarty? Oh, you, you'll fall in love with him because he's basically Murph. Listen, <laughs> he, no, the listen. way he plays. No, the way the way the way he plays. <laughs> he's Shad's even having a laugh at that one. Um, no, the way he plays is very similar. So, bit of inside outside can win the ball when he does go into the middle. But if he gets it on the outside, he's got pretty good ball use coming out of the middle, and he's got pace. Like yep. he's got he's got some really good breakaway speed from a from a contest, which Murph had early in his career. Mm-hmm. We, we forget about. So, if you look at him from a midfield standpoint, that's probably the closest on our list that I'd compare him to from what I've seen, mm-hmm. especially last year in those games that he did step in for Selwood. Um, but I think where he's going to have most impact long term, we we traded for him because we needed that small forward depth, right? So he's going to pinch hit in the middle, but he's going to mostly act as a small forward. And I'd love to see him and our man, Corey, uh, at some stage break into our small forward line. Like we've got depth there now, which is, which is really good. Um, you want to see him when he comes into the side, kick a couple of goals, like have an impact. And I don't care if he has 10 touches as long as he kicked or five touches, as long as two of those are goals. Gotcha. Um, and if he pinches, hits in the middle, if there's an injury during a game or whatever it may be, and you've got to throw him in there, he's got the ability to do that. So, um, he's young again, give him time. I know we've traded for him just because he was a trade target. Doesn't mean that he has to come out of the blocks flying. Mm-hmm. I think this is someone that we need to be patient with. He's not going to play. I can't see him playing. And if I'm wrong, great. Fantastic. Um, even better. I, I can't see him playing 22 games. I can't see him playing maybe even 10 games, but when he does come in, expect him to have some sort of an impact because we've traded for him for a reason. Yeah. What I, from what I have seen, and obviously with highlights packages, it's always going to be the, you know, like like it's the name suggests, highlights, yep. always the positives. But he looks like a real goer. He's a tackle machine. Yep. And uh, for a guy his size, he just he just goes in for it. I think that's exactly what we need in the forward line. Me personally, having him there as that forward that can pinch it through the midfield, I'm personally hoping that allows a guy like Gibbons, who has probably been in that situation where, where Fogarty is now, to come into the midfield a bit more. So that's what I'm looking for. Um, I think, I think we've definitely addressed the um, the pressure element with our these smaller forwards. I think Corey mm. Durden's that's what he's known for. He's, he's third, fourth, and and fifth efforts. I think Fogarty is going to be the same guy. Do I have expectations of him playing too many games? Not really. I mean, he's 21 years old. He's in that similar age bracket to Paddy Dow and, and Lockie O'Brien and these types. Um, I think Dow's probably got more natural talent, um, but I think Fogarty's got that desire and that will to um, and and ultimately. He's, he's come to Carlton for more opportunity. Yeah, That's what it's all about. Yeah, and he's also you know? come from a good system too, yes. which we forget. Like yes. some of these trade targets, he's – I know he's not he's not 27 and he has 100 games of experience, but when he's in those small forward training groups and when he's in the midfield and there's certain things that, that may go wrong, he'll have a different perspective from a group that made the grand final last year and a group that he's been training with day in, day out since he's been drafted. So I think – Let's not forget that element. Like he's going to bring a different perspective to this side from a top quality Geelong. Mm-hmm. Let, let's let's be honest. Mm-hmm. Like as much as I hate to say it, like great they culture. Are, they're a benchmark. Long, right? long, sustainable success. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And he's he's going to bring that, regardless of what his age is, regardless of his games of experience. Like he brings that mentality with him, which is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Phenomenal. Bryce Richards says, "Let's just hope he's not another Geelong dud." Don't know how much. Don't know much about him, but he doesn't have that. He doesn't have that mid rotation like a sauce Kennedy, etc. That we need. That's interesting. I don't know. I, I feel like he does, but that's um, that's fair enough. Ali says Geelong is going to regret trading him, boys. Pressure player. He'll surprise a lot of us. Uh, Billy Maldon, Maldron, sorry. He says, hard at it, pressure player, and that's exactly what we lack in the forward line. Him and Fisher will be brilliant at Big H's feet. That's probably um, You're probably going to hate me for this. But that's probably where he differs from uh, Murph a little bit. He's a bit harder at it, Tess. That's all right, mate. <laughs> 285 <laughs> I had to throw it. You can't be. To, no, you triggered me. Can't be throwing Murph shade at me. I had me. to throw it. Oh, mate. Anyway, no. I love I, love I get what you're saying. I, love I get what you're saying. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Idiot. <laughs> you throw me off, mate. About to end this. I've had enough. No, um, that's fair. Pom says the fog dog, just like a Swiss army knife. 
One end cuts, one end opens things up, hoping he becomes a key as a Teague player. He can lay pressure forward, then fan cam, then a fan cam sesh, but can also play hard in the midfield. Skill me up, says he surprised me, to be honest. I did not expect him to have that build quicker than many may think and plays with a desperation at times. He may be our new Matty Wright. He was a handy mm, player. He was very handy. He was a very handy player. Very handy. So that's that. Joe's triggered me. I've had enough. <laughs> That's been your uh, <laughs> that's been your Lockie Fogarty preview for twenty one. 